and three times, three times I was caught, and I got away. But on the fourth time I was caught, I was taken to jail. While I was in jail, the doctor came to see me. He was surprised to see me. He had given up hope of never finding me. He said, listen, you come back with me to Mobile, Alabama. I'll make sure that you don't get in any trouble for what happened at the hospital. So I went back to Mobile, Alabama with the doctor. And I didn't get in any trouble for what happened at the hospital. But every single job I went to, I would learn a new skill. I would pick up a trade. But I would always get into some kind of trouble. And so the doctor decided that he was going to have to sell me as a field slave. I knew that I wouldn't survive as a field slave. So the doctor had a patient, Mrs. Ryder. And Mrs. Ryder would come see the doctor every single week. And every single week, I would go to her and I would ask Mrs. Ryder, please buy me. If you buy me, I'll pay you back. Of course, she wouldn't pay me no mind. But every single week, I would ask Mrs. Ryder and my persistence finally won her over. And after she decided to buy me, in a little over a year, I was able to work hard enough to pay her back and buy my own freedom. It's all right. Yeah. Have fun with it. Spread the bottom apart. He's making... Making... That's how he made it for. process for unfolding doing the bottom right now the feet a touch mark on it we all have our own trademark identify our warrant and hit there it's going to come back and get a lot of rebound you can't stop it it's going to it's going to go I walk inside my wife sees a red mark on my forehead yep you did it again and so it's not quite a sharp point yeah still hurts probably <laughs> well yeah Education is expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that! Yeah, I know! Give me this. What is, what is your fuel there? Coal. Just coal. Anthracite. I buy it up at uh, Troy. In fact, right now, this weekend, is our blacksmith convention, Quad State Roundup. I was up there Thursday and Friday, and I coke it out. I dry the uh, smoke, the oil, and the tar out of the coal. It turns into coke, which is real lightweight. And that burns real nice. It's like uh, coke is to coal, like wood is to charcoal.
Does it just burn hotter than charcoal does? Oh yeah. 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 It's a uh, more of a carbon content. Okay. More pure. You can actually get a hotter heat out of coal than you can out of gas. Okay. Out of natural gas. There, and so I opened up the top. Diamond shape appeared because there's four little pieces of metal halfway down, right, right through here. Cushion cap, and there's a cap already. You can see a little bit of copper there. That replaced the the pan and powder, so that even in in rain, uh, you could you could load and fire. So to do that, the infantryman would reach into his pouch or into his pocket, depending on how he liked it, and grab out a charge, yep. and he would. Put the bullet in his mouth to, uh, to tear off the top and hold that lead in his mouth until he poured the powder into the, uh, so he, we were not going to shoot lead obviously, so he'd pour his powder in, then he would spit out his lead ball and drop the mini ball into the barrel, hit it with the ramrod, and then he would come up and be ready to fire. The good infantrymen could do that three to four times each minute, but they only carried about 40 rounds of ammunition with them, so they could be depleted of the ammunition. In Ohio, that's around here somewhere, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Down the road. <coughs> Down the road? Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the beautiful Ohio, unpolluted Ohio River, the <laughs> Queen City of the West, they called it then. And it was out west. City. Spent some time there overnight, then we went through Ohio. I won't go through all the towns, but we went through Ohio, we went to Columbus, spoke the capital there, went to Cleveland, over in Pennsylvania, uh, Philadelphia, and we so went to the And then we stopped in Westfield, New York. Who lives in Westfield, New York? You know. Grace Pinnell, the little girl, grew up here, let grew up here, you can be kind of president. Who do I want to see in Westfield, New York? person, just council members, they might be okay. I'm going to see you. And maybe, maybe, maybe don't. Yeah, anyway, before in there, Mary and I and our, our two boys, and uh, I asked them, uh, the people there, I said, uh, does anybody, after I spoke to them, I said, folks, it's good to be here with you today. I know you've heard some news about the, you know, the secession and so forth, but I think we're going to work it out. And then I said, by the way, is there a little girl here named Grace Fidel? And I could hear the murmurs and muttering and see Grace Fidel. And some of the little boys said, oh, Mr. Lincoln, I know where she is. And I said, you go get her for a minute, I'm serious. here. So he goes back in the crown, and he finds you back there. She's kind of hiding out. I said, well, you may not want to meet the man that you told to grow the beard to become president. You might be a little bit nervous.